I want to thank the people that helped me. I also want to thank the people who didn't help me. Um, uh, I've had a wonderful life, basically chasing a camera, following it, um, trying to put it in interesting places. But I want to tell you a story quickly. It was about 53 years ago, I was working for the Daily Express in London, and I was, the following day I was going to Africa to do an important story. It was like how Africa is handling Ahura, their independence. And um, I had all the shots, everything, you know, yellow fever, yellow everything. I had it all. And I was excited. But then the phone goes. This is about 11 at night. And uh, it was a night picture editor who said to me, Harry, we want you to go to Paris in the morning with the Beatles. And I explained to them where, where I was going on this big story. I knew who the Beatles were, but, you know, I thought of myself a serious journalist, you know, and uh, well, taken away from me. So, anyway. I explain it to him, hang up, and he understood, okay, I see what you mean, just go to Africa, but hang up. Five minutes later, the phone goes, my editor again said, editor says you're going to Paris. Okay, you do what you're told. So I go to Paris on the same plane as the Beatles, we get to know each other, I wasn't too happy, but there again, <laughs> I wasn't that unhappy, you know, you know, you do what you're told, you know. And, um, and before they opened, they were going to open the Madeleine, the Olympia, but before they opened, they, uh, they did a gig out at Fontainebleau in a, some hall, church, and before they started, I went back to my car to get a piece of equipment, which isn't good, I should have had it with me, it sure I wasn't really, you know, that, this up to this job. So when I go back to my car and get the piece of equipment, the Beatles were starting to play. It was like, hold you, hold you hold my hand, I will kiss you tomorrow, I'll miss you, you know. <laughs> it went like that. And I thought, Christ, I'm on the right story. <laughs> this is the right one. <laughs> because it was in Paris where they broke through, they were hitting number one, two, all over the world, all the, it was Beatlemania, and I went out there with, it, with the Express on a music story, but no, within three days it turned into a news story where people from all the everywhere were wanting to do a story on the Beatles, and. And like within about ten days, I was I went with the Beatles to uh, New, to America to New York, and, and they and they did a few gigs there, and they went to and they went to Miami, and I heard the boxer shouting how great he was. It was Cassius Clay, Muhammad Ali, so I fixed up for the Beatles to go and see him. I take, first of all, they said yes, and John Lennon said no, because he's a big mouth. 
and and uh, and um, so I went to see the other guy, Sonny Liston, who told me he didn't want to meet those bums. Anyway, they went and saw Ali, who completely dwarfed them. And the Beatles wouldn't talk to me afterwards because he made them lie down, do this, who's the most beautiful you are. And, you know, he completely dwarfed them. And afterwards they wouldn't talk to me. But I didn't care because the following day I was going off to Jamaica to photograph Ian Fleming because the, the Doctor, you know, the James Bond movies had just come out, you know, Doctor No and that. Then I went back to Miami to cover the, the fight the Beatles had left. And I saw them again in London, everything was fine. But basically I stayed in America, I wasn't coming, I, wasn't, I wanted to try it there, which was a great time of the civil rights. Martin Luther King and um, the race riots. And, and just, to, you know, I was fortunate to be there at such a time, and, uh, and here I am talking to, to, to you, but that's, I want to tell you how honored I am to, to be here. I mean, I'm just, a, I'm just basically some scruff from Glasgow, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, and, and I'm very proud of it. Although I couldn't get a job here. Tried, tried. Got a job in Edinburgh. Yes. Anyway, all that. Thank you very much for looking at me.